Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will discover how to train a TensorFlow model which can accurately predict 70 log breaks. So let's get into this project right away. Here we are. So this is the project, the dog breed classification. Moving on to the next slide is the table of contents. So the things that we will cover in our presentation, which is an introduction to the project, data collection and pre-processing, model architecture and training, and GUI implementation and conclusion. Moving on to the next slide is a quote, happiness is a warm puppy by Charles M. Skulls. Moving on to the next slide is an introduction. So dogs, diverse in breed and beloved by many are the focus of my deep learning project. So using advanced algorithms, I aim to automate accurate dog breed classification from images. Join me on a journey through data collection, model architecture, and GUI implementation. Moving on to the next slide is data about data. So in the data collection phase, a diverse set of images was obtained from Kaggle, ensuring a representation of various breeds Quality checks were done to remove duplicate images. Images were standardized by resizing to a uniform dimension of 224 into 224 pixels. And the data set was partitioned into training, validation, and testing. And there were a total of 70 dog breeds. Moving on to the next slide is about the model architecture and training. So about the model, I used the Inception V3 architecture, a pretrained convolutional neural network, which was chosen for its superior performance in image uh, classification tasks. About the transfer learning, I've leveraged transfer learning, the pre-trained Inception V3 model, which was used as a feature extractor, making efficient learning of dog breed features without the need for extensive training data. About Keras, uh, and I also used Keras and TensorFlow in my program. And TensorFlow is an open source machine learning library and Keras is a high level neural network API, which was implied for implementation and training and for fine tuning. I kept the base layers inception v3 frozen to preserve the learned features and the top layers were fine-tuned during the training. The validation accuracy was more than 95%. Moving on to the next slide is more about the model architecture. So we have a training process. The model was trained using image data generators provided by the Keras library, enabling the real-time data augmentation and batch processing. And about the evaluation during training, the model's performance was evaluated using metrics such as categorical cross and copy loss and accuracy to assess its ability to correctly classify. Moving on to the next slide is about the GUI. So I used Kinter, a Python library for creating the GUI and it initializes a Kinter window. So you can pause the video and have a read through about all the other widgets and uh, components that I used in my GUI. Moving on to the next slide is the conclusion. So for the summary, the project successfully demonstrated the effectiveness of deep learning in automating dog breed classification tasks. For future, I can incorporate additional dog breeds, improving the model robustness and refining the user interface for better user experience. Then I have for the impact, this project contributes to advancing field of computer vision and offers benefits to pet owners, veterinarians, and animal enthusiasts. And for achievement through meticulous data collection, development, and GUI implementation, I created a comprehensive solution for accurate breed prediction. Moving on to the next slide is, thank you for going to the presentation with me. Now I'll be showing you my code, which is uh, the code for building the model. So I've imported TensorFlow for deep learning operations. Then I've checked the TensorFlow version. I've defined the paths for training, testing, and validation data. Then I've imported OS for the operating system related tasks. I've walked through the training directory to gather file paths and labels. I've imported required libraries for image data generation, created image data generator with rescaling and validation speed, generated training data set from directory, generated validation data set from directory, defined input shape for the model, loaded inception v3 model with pre-trained weights, uh, froze the base model layers to prevent them from being trained, and built a sequential model with inception v3 base, dropout, global average pooling, and dense output layer. I have uh, given the dropout layer to prevent overfitting, global average pooling to reduce the spatial dimensions, and output layer with softmax activation for multi-class classification. Then I've set the model name to pool code, displayed the model summary, compiled the model with atom optimizer, uh, categorical cross entropy loss and accuracy metrics, trained the model using image data generators with specified epochs and validation data, and I've saved the trained model. Now for the GUI, I've used Kinter library for the UI development, and then I've used PIL for 
Payment Handling, NumPy for the numerical operations, uh, Keras.models to import the, uh, load the model, my bad, Keras.utils to preprocess the images, and Keras.applications.mobilenet v2 to import preprocess, uh, preprocessing input from the mobile net v2. Then I've loaded the trained model, mapped the class ind indices to class names, preprocessed the image, predicted the dog breed from image, uploaded the image for classification, initialized the kinter window, uh, given the background image, given the background label, and then I've given the upload button. The prediction result label is then given in the uh, program. And then finally, root.main loop, which starts the main loop to run the application. Now let's see the interface. Here we are. So I have a dog test folder with me. Here we are. So let's go with a bulldog first. And the prediction will come right away. There we go, we have bulldog. And then we have this one. I think there's a border collie, I think. Yeah, it's a border collie. Then we have the Dalmatian. We have the proper prediction done. Then we have Poodle. Then we have a Golden Retriever over here. Then we have an Afghan over here. And then finally, the last image over here for testing is Beagle. So as you can see, all the predictions were right and this model works really good. So that is all that my project was about. And I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more videos. If you like the video, please give a like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I hope to catch you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.